F Joe Biden chance. Okay. I got to tell you, it was funny at first. Then it was kind of cool. But then it was like, wow. Now it's just like, it is a phenomenon. F Joe Biden is everywhere at not just football games like the Alabama game this past weekend. <laughs> In the Penn State game. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah, because I know people say, well, Alabama, duh, of course, it's a red state, but Pennsylvania is not. Neither is New Mexico, but listen to what happened in Albuquerque at the Point Setta Bowl. Joe Biden. Listen to Joe Biden. Yeah. Listen to what happened at the Aaron Lewis concert. Aaron Lewis, uh, he was the lead singer of Stained. That's him singing. And then the crowd continued. Because, you know, that's what they do. They hold the microphone out and the whole crowd just starts chanting. Listen, this is Staten Island, New York. You're not going to find a much more liberal place than Staten Island, New York, except maybe Manhattan, New York. But listen, this is a food court. Okay, not a football game, not a sporting event of any kind, not a concert, just a group of hungry New Yorkers in Staten Island jammed into the food court. But this is in the middle of a, the day at a food court in Staten Island. not crazy, you know, Republican people from Alabama. These are not backwoods, uh, southern redneck hillbillies at a Trump rally or a bunch of like, you know, pseudo Joe Rogan heads at a stained concert. These are suburban parents. These are soccer moms and dads, Democrats in Staten Island, putting down their Chick-fil-A, putting down their Sparrow, you know, cutting, putting down that big bite of the Cinnabon that they got in the food court while they were in between trips to Nordstrom and Vans and wherever, I don't know, Juicy Couture or whatever. And they're just, and they're putting down their food so they can chant with kids around and everything. But again, it's New York and kids they speak worse than their parents do, to chant F. Joe Biden. Probably the most shocking, probably the most shocking one was the Ryder Cup. Now, the Ryder Cup is like, how do I just, it's golf, first of all. And at golf, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of outpouring of emotion in, in a golf match. Every now and then when Tiger Woods, you know, used to play golf before, well, he can't anymore. Uh, but we, he would get up and he would hit the ball really hard and some drunken guy would yell, get in the hole! And, you know, from and, and it's like from it's ridiculous. It's like a 500 yard, you know, par five. And the guy, as soon as he hits a tee shot, yells, get in the hole. It's never going to happen. But it was a thing. Other than that, there's very little emotion in golf. And the Ryder Cup is not just a golf event. It is like the most prestigious golf event. It's the United States versus the UK. It is where countries come. It's kind of like the Olympic Games of golf. And at the Ryder Cup, at the Ryder Cup, this past weekend, you could hear chants erupt of F. Joe Biden. Oh, my God. Who started that? Who started that? I don't know. Probably those two guys dressed head to toe in American flags. That would be my guess. But it's everywhere. It's a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon. It's everywhere on Twitter. It was trending on Twitter this morning. F. Joe Biden. And a lot of people are misunderstanding what's happening. They think it's cute. They think it's anger. They think it's frustration. It is not. It is literally a revolutionary war cry. F. Joe Biden is the single most American thing that a person can do in this day and age. Because not only is it exercising freedom of speech, guaranteed by the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States, but it is exercising free speech to speak out against tyranny. This is exactly what the founding fathers had in mind when they wrote the Bill of Rights. This is exactly what freedom of speech was created for. Not just to say whatever you want, but to speak out against your political leaders if they're acting like D-bags, which in this case is exactly uh, what's going on. It gives us the ability and it proves that we are willing we are willing and free to verbally excoriate our leaders without fear of punishment or negative retribution or anything like that. F. Joe Biden, in my humble opinion, is the modern day equivalent of throwing tea into Boston Harbor. 
You know, it's like it's a it's a revolutionary war cry. And, we, you know, it's right up there with no taxation without representation. Don't tread on late me. Uh, give me liberty or give me death. F Joe Biden. It's the modern day revolutionary war cry. And it's exciting. And it is American. And it shows that the spirit of freedom and liberty that was ignited 250 years ago still burns bright in the hearts of a lot of Americans who haven't yet had that flame extinguished by a mask over their face or several doses uh, of the vaccine. And I guarantee... I guarantee, I'm 99% I'm sure that if Samuel Adams and Patrick Henry and Paul Revere and Samuel Chase were alive today, that they would be at a, at a football game in Massachusetts somewhere with a pint of mead or porter in their hands, and they'd, be, they'd put them up in the air and they would be yelling, F Joe Biden. And then after the game, they would dress up like Indians and go throw a bunch of Pfizer vaccines into Boston Harbor.